Hey Canucks fans, quick question for you, all you viewers out there. Are any of you available to play backup goaltender for the Canucks in tonight's game? I'm Canuck Clay, and this is my Canucks take, all in one take. It's Clay's Canucks commentary for Sunday, January the 23rd. If you're new, here's what you should do. Hit the subscribe button now for daily Canucks insight that's positive, timely, and trustworthy. Yes, it is Canucks game day, and the Canucks are now down to their fourth string goaltender. Let's get to all of that. Reminder that because today's Sunday, I'll be doing a live stream, but I got to get back to my office from the game. So 10.30 tonight will be my live stream. Again, 10.30 tonight. I have some cool announcements to make tonight as well. I'll be at the game tonight with legendary Lucas Gates. Can't wait to spend some good quality time with Lucas. And because of all the news today, I bumped my Ask Me Anything to tomorrow. So I usually do that on Sunday, but on game days, I usually like to talk about the game instead. So I'll do my Ask Me Anything vlog for tomorrow. Okay, let's talk about tonight's game. COVID continuing to run rampant through this team. So coaches and players. So let's start with the players. And the biggest story is one day after, basically two days after his awesome debut, his magnificent debut for the Vancouver Canucks, goaltender Spencer Martin is unfortunately in NHL's COVID protocol. Apparently, he had a positive rapid test yesterday, a negative PCR test, but there, um, this, that was all yesterday, but this morning they confirmed that is, he's indeed COVID positive. It's really unfortunate. I talked about how well he played on, we all know how well he played on Friday night, making 33 saves, backstopping the Canucks to at least getting them all the way to the shootout against the best team in the league, the Florida Panthers. We've talked about that. We've talked about that for two days now. So it's really unfortunate that he's not able to build on that momentum. So that means Mikey DiPietro gets the start. I can only remember one other time he started. It was under weird circumstances again when we had Markstrom and Demko both out and I think DiPietro came in. I think he got lit up. Not his fault, but uh, he wasn't great either. But he was such a, he wasn't even ready to play. And I think that was, he led in seven goals against the San Jose Sharks, if I remember that. I think that was a February game where I was, it was a very snowy day. I, I, I won't take you too far down memory lane, but that's what I remember, um, at least, because I was at that game. Anyways, if I was at the game, I should remember better. So Michael DiPietro will get the start tonight. He has been touted as the goalie of the future to work in tandem with Demko going forward after the season. And then a lot of people were excited about Spencer Martin's performance, as they should have been. Um, but I always said, you know, let's temper our expectations for Martin. Yes, it was one good game, but we got to see more. But we're not going to see more, at least for a little while. So Spe uh, Michael DiPietro will be the starter tonight. Ryland Toth, a goalie for UBC. He will be what we call the e-bug, the emergency backup goalie. No, no, he'll be the backup. And then I think there's still got to be an e-bug, uh, like a Zamboni driver or something. Maybe that's me. I don't know. Maybe that's one of you. So Toth isn't the emergency uh Backup goalie. He is the backup goalie. So I'm not sure if it's Toth or Toth, to be honest with you. We'll go with Toth for now. Uh, no, let's go with Toth. So it's DiPietro in net, and then it's Toth as the backup. Because of the goaltenders, Demko is still in COVID protocol. He just entered at the end of last week. Halak is coming out of protocol, but he's healthy. He's done his five days quarantine, but because it happened in the States, it's got to be another five days to make a total of 10 days. So he's ready to play. But I don't think he's entered into Canada yet. He's he'll join uh, the team. He'll he can enter on Tuesday. So my guess is he will play against the Oilers on Tuesday night. But we'll worry about that on Tuesday. So Demko, the starter, is out. Halak, the usual backup, is out. Spencer Martin now, who played so well on Friday, he is out, and that's why we're at DiPietro because Archer Silovs, who would likely either start or be DiPietro's backup, he's in COVID protocol too. So that means four of our five top goalies are in COVID protocol. Demko, Halak, Martin, and Silovs. That just means DiPietro is the lone man standing, and that's why Toth is backing him up. Okay, I hope that all that made sense. Then, when it comes to coaches, assistant coaches, Scott Walker, COVID protocol. Kyle Gustafson, COVID protocol. So that really leaves just um, Boudreaux, thank goodness, maybe he should go in net. And that leaves um, Bradshaw as well. And I think, yeah, they're going to be shorthanded on the bench as well tonight, unless they bring someone else up to stand on the bench with them. So, man, so much uh, so, uh, Jason King is still there. So it will be Boudreaux, King, and Shaw behind the bench tonight. So, so much going on 
for the Vancouver Canucks. So, and that's all the things happening off the ice. Let's quickly talk about how the Canucks will line up tonight. Almost the same lineup as the team that played against Florida on Friday night. So your top line is Pedersen between Besser and Hoglander. I thought they played really well on Friday night. Held off the score sheet. Almost everyone was held off the score sheet. But I thought they played really well on Friday night. Then a second line of Pearson with Dickinson and Chason. PDC, Pearson, Dickinson, and Chason. Then our third line, the fan favorite line of Mott and Highmore with Lamico. Uh, I still think that Highmore and Lamico are recovering from that three and a half minute shift in overtime with OEL against the Panthers. And then our fourth line, it'll be Bailey on one wing. It'll be Podkolzin on another wing. So I like the speed and size combo there. And then one of Sheldon Drees, who is just, oh, Sheldon Drees, who's just okay on Friday night. Or maybe Justin Dowling gets a look. I wouldn't mind seeing Dowling play. I, I didn't think Drys did that much on Friday night. Um, so I'd rather see Dowling in there. So maybe it's Dowling and Pod Coles and, and, and Bailey as your fourth line. On the back end, it's going to be O'Yell and Myers. It's going to be Hughes with Pullman. And then maybe Burroughs gets back in for Hunt. Although I thought Hunt played fine. But the way they skated this morning, usually Hunt and Burroughs um, trade off that third third pairing left side uh, spot in practice. So we'll see who it is tonight. Um, the way Thomas Strands tweeted out the lines, is, the pairings, it looks like it was Burroughs getting more of the reps along with Luke Shen on the right. So again, O'Yell and Myers, Hughes with Pullman, and then one of Burroughs or Hunt, likely Burroughs with Shen, and again, goaltenders, Michael DiPietro and Rylan Toth. Oye Canucks fans, I predicted a 4 1 loss to the Panthers, and it was only a 2 1 loss. Tonight, uh, is DiPietro going to play as well? As Martin did, is St. Louis going to be better or worse than the Panthers? They're up there in the standings. This is tough to say. But I, I, I have this gut feeling that it's time for a feel-good story. So I'm going to say 5-4 Vancouver. It's very high scoring. But how are the Canucks going to score five goals? They're going to figure it out. Yeah, for some reason, I think it's going to be 5-4 Vancouver. I just have a gut feeling it's going to be a high-scoring game tonight. I could be proven wrong. It's going to be a 1-0 game. But I'm going to go 5-4 Vancouver. And I'm going to say that Brock Besser lights the lamp first for the Canucks. So I want to know what's your score prediction and tell me if I'm out to lunch here. And then um, tell me who your first Canucks goal scorer is. And like I said, 10.30 p.m. my live stream tonight. Ask me anything I'm pushing to tomorrow. Okay, shout out to my sponsors. Perform and Transform, Personal Training and Weight Loss. Sign up now for a free someday trial. Use the link in my video description. And shout out to Van City Experts Real Estate Group. Contact Jason Lim and his team for all of your real estate needs. Shout out to legendary Lucas Gates, who I'm going to game with, legendary Justin Credible, legendary Andrew Chang, hero members, Nux fan number 29, and Carol Bovenlander, Hall of Fame members, Jens95, Sim Alexander, Chris Seifert, Adam Brewfield, Shannon Hollingworth, HSM, Fangirl Gaming, Smooth Move, and Fung Q. Thank you for your support as always, and the support of franchise and all-star members as well. You are all listed in my video descriptions. If you want to become a member of the CCC crew, press the join button underneath this story in my videos on the Memberships tab on my YouTube channel. Subscribe if you'd like to. Like this video if you'd like to. Become a member or upgrade if you'd like to. Leave a comment down below. Score prediction. First Canucks goal scorer. And uh, let me know what you're thinking. I'll do my best to read, react, and reply as always. Okay, friends. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Enjoy the game and enjoy trying to figure out who's on the ice for the Vancouver Canucks. God bless and go Canucks go.